Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. You just wonder, don't you, just how long he can go on for? I mean, there's no sign of any decline at all, if anything, the opposite. Yep. It's got better and better the last couple of years. 42 years of age, not this man. Um, Ronnie will talk about, of course, but he keeps himself very fit. I mean, if he plays for another, what, three seasons, Dave, he's going to break all the records. You know, it's the only one that probably might be in question is the, the, the seven of Stephen Hayes' world records. But, you know, he'll be looking for number six this year, playing like this. And they're all in his range now, aren't they? They're all there to be taken. Probably wouldn't have even looked at that two or three seasons ago. Well, all those stats that have just appeared are just all excellent in any match, but for a UK final, sensational, really. All right, thank you. Well, a couple of audience members, perhaps a little too full of festive cheer. In high spirits. It's lined on the pink there. It's, it's incredible, really. That's what happens, though, when you're playing well and you're putting frames on the board. That could have landed anywhere. In fact, he could have snookered himself. Oh. Could be the chance to win the title. Well, it will be just like him to win this title with the tournament's 100th century break. Bring the, the house down one last time. He hopes not. Seven. He hopes something's going to go wrong. But not much has tonight for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been sublime. He really has. Eight. Nicely on the black little cannon into the middle of the three. This has been an unbelievable treat this evening here for this crowd. 1,200 people in the Barbican, New York. 15. We'll certainly go in this evening remembering this one. he's got here he, he's well, he might just play the cannon here and push the black over to the right didn't like it both both ways he's slightly going into the black i think he just about missed the black he was going to come around the back of it actually he's got to be careful he doesn't clip it on the way through ah oh, he's played the cannon that will do nicely well played i didn't think he could play that i, I, I thought there was too much angle again the, the, this cloth is so responsive superb
31. 72 he needs. He's got 31 of them. 72 points 32. for the title. His sixth UK title to equal Steve Davis's. Incredible. 32. Any chance of uh, cloning Ronnie, Judd Trump, Sonia Carney? In the next few years. I certainly break the mould of this guy. Cannon into them, is it? Gentle cannon? No, gentle stun shot of position. He's just going to pick these off. There's no point in taking any risks at this stage. The 43. One hand on the trophy. 44. And the stuff he's been playing over the last few weeks has been incredible. Ireland was a blip, but didn't matter. He's come here determined. He knows he was in great form. Look at that. Just about well, double the points that Sean's made. Well, that's about 40%, isn't it? 40% less for Sean, I should say. 52. No, he needs to have some sort of cannon here. This could go wrong, but if he opens them up, it's frame and match. Ah. Fifty-nine. Well, there's an almost bewilderment in the audience <laughs> at that. I think everyone was just expecting it to be plain sailing. Might just push this to the top cushion. It's going the other way with the cue ball, that's fair enough. Well, 59. 59. It could have been a lot more and it could have been much over. He's made his seventh half century to go with his three centuries, but not quite there yet. Don't tell me these two reds are lined up to the yellow pocket because if they are, that's a big mistake from Sean. And Ronnie has the one to the green pocket as well. You wouldn't have played it that way if those two reds were planned. He's taking this one on though. If it goes in, it could be all over. It's not far away. Oh. Absolutely bang in the middle. Never touch the sides. I mean, this is a wonderful feeling for a snooker player, not for that man. But when you're knocking him in like that, it's just a great feeling when they're going in the middle of the pocket. He needs one more red, and Sean Murphy needs snookers. Eight.
We're watching here one of the greatest sportsmen this country has ever produced. Still at the top of his game 24 years after he first won this UK Championship. It is quite incredible. He's been disciplined. 16. He's applied himself throughout this Championship. And he's going to be going home 17. with another trophy. His third ranking event title of the season. Yeah, and that was achieved in the last six to seven weeks. <laughs> Who knows what it can do for the rest of the season. 24. We're only about halfway 25. through. Sean Murphy kept with him to five all, but O'Sullivan made his move. Playing some scintillating 29. snooker. Heavy hitting, good safety as well, that's been a factor today. 30. 30. Oh, this is just, this is just uh, dreamland snooker. 36. It really is. Unreal. 37. Forty-four. Going out in style. 45. What other way would he do it? Forty-nine. It's another glorious chapter in the life and times of Ronnie. Ronnie rules the UK for a record equaling sixth time. He also equals Stephen Hendry's record of 18 Triple Crown titles. What an incredible sportsman. What an incredible career. And it is clearly got a long, long way to run yet. Sullivan, a record equaling sixth UK crown, a record equaling 18th major title. Both must sound very good to you tonight. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I just want to say well done to Sean. You know, he's had, he's, he's had a great, great tournament. Um, he's been, you know, he's been playing fantastic all season. You know, we had a great final in Coventry. So, you know, I just want to say well done to Sean. But, you know, the records are great. You know, um, to equal it. And like, like Sean said, you know, the fans this week have been just been unbelievable, you know. Um, so I just want to say a massive thank you to them and, uh, you know, just try my best all week just to, you know, there's nothing left, you know I mean? I give everything there is, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm over the moon, you know, to, to, to win any tournament, let alone, you know, the UK Championship. So, happy, yeah. We talked about how Sean contested so brilliantly this afternoon. It was a wonderful first session, but how pleased were you, were you with the way you went through the gears from 5 all to 10 5 today? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think we both can play better. Um, you know, Sean missed a few easy balls. You know, a little bit of bad luck as well. And you know, and that's all it takes sometimes. You know, just to you know, if, if the other guy gets a bit of momentum, the modern game. You know, most you know, a lot of players can win four, five, six frames on the bounce. So, you know, that's just how snooker is these days. You know, it's a, it's a tough school. You know, 24 years ago, this gentleman came uh, to uh, the UK Championship at the age of 17 oh, and right. won this one. <laughs> <laughs> and 24 years, you're still winning. Ronnie, when you look back, what does the, the Ronnie of now think of the Ronnie of then in terms of how you play the game? I don't know. I don't think I'm much different, really. I've just sort of like, you know, I've just, just tried to enjoy the game. I tried to express myself. I tried to attack the game and you know play the game how i think it should be played and you know um and when you get a few battle scars you learn that maybe you can't attack as much at all the time so you know i just just, just but i just love playing i love competing and uh, i just can't believe i'm still playing at 42 you know um, all these gray hairs and all that you know just kind of, i'm old enough to be most people's dads on the tour <laughs> well you're still playing and he's still winning your champion once again for a sixth time Ronnie